of music. This next one goes out to the victims of the cheerleader slayings. It's the 10-year anniversary of that terrible tragedy, and our little town has not forgotten. Abigail, Maggie, Kat, Val, and Dana, we love you and we miss you. To the cheerleaders of Mosher High, this one's for you. you're here. Oh. oh, come in. Come in. Come on. We'll get your bags later. Come on. I can't believe it. What? Nothing here has changed. Oh, please. I've redecorated. Did you see the new rug in the living room? That's new? It looks just like the old one. That's because... Is that how long you've been gone? You barely touched your food. Um, I'm not hungry. I'm just excited you're here. Is that because of the meds? I don't want to talk about it. Here. Have some more wine. That's why I'm here, isn't it? For the hundredth time, I don't need you to take care of me. Okay? I... I'm fine. And besides, chemo appointments are, um... They're depressing. Well, depressing is my specialty. Well, I'll take an excuse. First day of school tomorrow. I cannot believe you're going back to that place. You know, it's not healthy. You're still traumatized. I am not. Besides, I needed a job and they had an opening. It'll be fine. I'm looking forward to it. All right, well, the first time you feel uncomfortable at all, I want you out of there. Deal? Deal. everyone whispering about that is ellie oliver the sole survivor of the cheerleader slangs interesting hello and welcome to ap english i'm miss oliver and you should all have been emailed the syllabus <clears throat> that... yes is it uh is it weird detailing what we're going to be looking <clears throat> at this yes uh, Dylan. Yes, Dylan. How'd you get that scar? Was it from the attack? What happened? I don't remember the attack. Now, if we could all just stay focused. Does getting stabbed hurt? There will be no more questions about the attack. Okay? Now, I have devised a plan to help you thoroughly prepare for your AP test in May. We're going to be looking at Shakespeare, King Lear, Romeo and Juliet, and Much Ado About Nothing. Uh, the seat taken? Please, be my guest. Sometimes the teachers can be ruder than the students. Sorry about them. 
Uh, I'm Elizabeth. AP Calc. Ellie Oliver. AP English. I I know. Uh, we we went to high school together. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. I was pretty quiet back then, so I'd be surprised if you did remember me. Considering. People are always spreading rumors about what happened that night. I didn't know what to say. I just worried. Is that Forrest? Forrest Parker? Sure is. He dated Kat. He married her twin, Brooke. Really? Kind of creepy. You ask me marrying your dead girlfriend's twin sister, but hey, whatever floats your boat, dude. Watch out for him. He seems to forget he's married. You know, if they'd been triplets, I bet he would have made a play for the last one by now. Ah, the job for which no one clamors. Well, you know. Good luck filling that position, lady. Who's up for some chess? Hi, Annie. Mm -hmm. So how was your first day at school? Make any friends? Mom, I'm a teacher, not a student. Still need friends. Actually, I did make a friend. And, uh, I'm thinking about taking the cheer coach job. Why do they even still have a team? Well, if they can't find a coach, then they won't have a team. Besides, maybe it'll be therapeutic. Therapy is therapeutic, not cheerleading. Linda, my favorite patient. How are we today? Doctor. Meet my daughter, Elliot. You, you look like you've seen a ghost. I'm not so sure that I haven't seen a ghost. <laughs> Ellie, is it really you? Jonathan, how are you? I didn't recognize you without your glasses. <laughs> it's contacts. You two know each other. Yeah, we went to high school together. John you two should go out sometime, have a drink, catch up. Mom! Well, I'm free tomorrow night. Oh, well, yeah, okay, I can do that. 7 p.m., pub of the north? Sure. I'll see you then. <laughs> and you? Feeling good? Never been better. That's what I love to hear. Ellie Oliver, come on in. Hi, Principal Sawyer. Please, you're a teacher now. Call me Jill. Great. Now, what can I do for you? Uh, actually, I wanted to ask if the cheer coach position was still open. Yes, but... I'll take it. I'll do it. I don't think it's a good idea. I wouldn't want to put you in a position where you felt uncomfortable. You're not putting me in any position. I want to do this. Well, I am pretty desperate. I've been supervising practice, which has been a waste of everybody's time. Let me do this. Don't punish the cheerleaders because some monster terrorized the squad 10 years ago. Try it on an interim basis. I'll continue to look for someone else, and we see how you feel. Sounds good? <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> When's next practice? I was just about to head over there. Allow me. It's all you. Where's everyone else? This is it. I mean, people aren't really dying to be on the team. <laughs> that was a poor choice of words. Sorry. Okay. So, small team, that's okay. What are you guys wearing? You can't cheer in those clothes. I want you in workout gear, sneakers, for God's sakes. You can't do stunts in loose clothing. It's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> stunts? <laughs> All right. Sorry. You guys don't do stunts? Okay, so where are we at in competition? <laughs> we don't compete anymore. We just cheer at games ever since. Okay, so it's taking the team some time to get back on their feet. That's understandable. 
That's one way to put it. Let's just focus on our routine for Friday's game. I was thinking I would teach you guys one of my old favorites. Seriously? We already have a routine. We just needed something to put on our college resumes. We don't do sports or theater. This is what was left. We usually just hang out for an hour and then bounce. So can we just do that? Principal Sawyer was OK with that. It's not like she knows how the hell to cheer. Well, I do know how to cheer. So no, we're not just going to hang out and then bounce. Today, you're going to learn a stunt. <gasps> Seriously? Seriously. I'm guessing I'm the poor soul who has to go in the air. Yes, you're tiny. Stand over there. You two can base, you'll spot. Come on, let's go. <sighs> Whatever. <sighs> wow, you're brave. Yeah, I mean, the hardest part so far has been getting them to actually care about cheerleading. Well, still, after what you went through. I've been running from my past for 10 years. Gotta face those demons at some point. I like that. To facing demons. Cheers. <laughs> can I, um, can I tell you something really embarrassing? Now you have to. You're out for a drink with me. Really? Yeah. I have the biggest crush on you. No way. <laughs> what, what, why didn't you ever say anything? I think I tried to. It just, it always came out as a joke. Yeah, I had no idea. Wait, didn't you dump a soda on me? Uh, yep. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was my way of, like, flirting. My God. I was a moron. No, you were cute. I thought you were cute. I wish I knew. Really? Yeah. Get going. It's 7 a.m. first period, so. Yeah. I have rounds early, too. We should do this again sometime. How about Wednesday night? <laughs> okay. Come on, I'll walk you. In my cheer photo? What? No. I I haven't even been in your room since you've been home. Okay. Um, it's just, I swear I put them in my dresser. You feeling okay? Anything wrong? Have you seen my phone hugging it in by my bed last night? Okay, I am worried about you. I mean, the stress of being back at school, being cheer coach, I, I think you should think about seeing a therapist. Lose his phone once mother suggests therapy. You know this is not about the phone. I tried therapy. It's not for me. You went twice. You said nothing. Look, I have been um, 
waiting for the right time. I, I found a, a different therapist, one who specializes in trauma. Mom. Please, just take it. Thanks. Um, I gotta go. You haven't even eaten breakfast. Yeah, I'm gonna get in the room before class. She's unconscious, but she's alive. No, you don't understand. The way she was tied up, the writing, it's exactly the same as last time. It's the same. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. It was it was a copycat. It was a prank. It was it was a stupid, insensitive high school prank. At this time, we do not believe the killer is back. The student in question will be fine. Writing was done in pig's blood. We believe this was a sick senior prank enacted by an extremely disturbed individual in exceedingly poor taste. There will be... An expulsion. Man, I knew teenagers were ruthless, but what kind of sick freak recreates a murder scene? There's no way this was a prank. It was the killer. I know it. It's because I'm back in town. I need to remember my attack. I must have seen his face. Hey, go easy on yourself, okay? I don't... I think there's a way you can just magically remember something you've buried down that deep. Maybe there is. Welcome, Elliot. I'm Dr. Whiting, but you can call me Bridget. Nice to meet you, Bridget. I'm a little nervous. There's no need to be. You went through a pretty traumatic attack. That must have been incredibly frightening. Um, well, that's the thing. I can't actually remember it. It's called dissociative amnesia. Your brain is trying to protect you from reliving the trauma of that night. Yeah, but if I could just remember what happened, then maybe it would offer some clue as to who the killer was. Maybe, maybe I saw their face. We're not here to be detectives. We're here to help you recover. About that night. I was walking to the parking lot with some of my teammates after the football game. And um, we'd been partying under the bleachers with some of the guys. Kat and Val had been partying. I'd been worrying mostly. <laughs> Why are you guys still here? Everybody else is gone. We need to go now. Oh, come on, Ellie. Fun. How can you be drinking right now? Our teammates are dead. That's why, why I'm drinking, I'm drinking Ellie. Sorry I don't have your A-plus coping skills. <laughs> Start. We shouldn't be here. No. Is there anything you can do to help me retrieve the memory? There are some treatments we could try. Guided imagery therapy comes to mind. What's that? We would immerse you in images and objects from the night you were attacked. More of the memory could return. In fact, that may be why you're having some of those dreams you mentioned. The memory could be returning on its own now that you're back in town and you're surrounded by reminders of your past. If we decide to go this route, I would need you to commit to deeper therapy work because retrieving the memory is only half the battle. The other half is dealing with what you find. I will, yeah, of course, this is, this is what I want. And um, it was covered in blood. They, they took it for evidence. It's okay. Anything will work. In the meantime, you might try journaling. Journaling? Like, in a diary? Most people find that writing down their thoughts helps make sense of them. Uh, I'm not much of a writer. Don't worry. You'll be the only one who reads it. You're really convinced it's the killer, huh? I know it is. I'm, I'm sure it was just a prank. 
know with the 10-year anniversary coming up and all? How can we get your mind off of it? Uh, <laughs> thank you, Dad. Brook and Forrest, they're, they're throwing a party. It's a, it's a 10-year reunion of sorts, unofficially. You're friends with Brook and Forrest? Yeah. Well, Brook's an old family friend, and Forrest, well, he's, he's a bit of a Chad, but whatever. A Chad? You know, big, beefy guy, gets lots of girls. Not a whole lot going on upstairs. <laughs> the Chad, okay. <laughs> I've never heard that. Um, I'd go, but Friday night football game. I'm sure coach remember. Right. Darn. That's okay. I'm not really in the mood for a party anyway. Who was there during you know? <laughs> of course. One minute I'm sleeping in my bed, the next I wake up and I'm hanging from the grandstands. <sighs> I bet this is Dylan's idea of a senior prank. He's such a turd. Excuse me, that turd is my boyfriend. Sorry. Back for the 10-year anniversary. Why is Brittany alive then? Maybe the guy messed up. And maybe the next girl won't be so lucky. Who was the second victim? Beats me. After the first murder, they put a major lockdown on the press, so it's really hard to find any information about the others. Trust me, I've looked. Maybe Miss Oliver will tell us? Fat chance. She shut me and Dylan down? Hard. We have a right to know what we're up against. Wait, I know who will tell us. Come on, let's go. Hey, Mr. Parker. Chloe. Uh Ava, what can I do for you ladies? We're just really scared after what happened to Brittany. No one will tell us how all those girls died. We're going crazy just imagining all the terrible things that could have happened. I'm sure you girls don't want to know all the gruesome details. You know, everyone treats us like we're children. And we're basically like adults. You know, I did just turn 18 last week. So do you think that's old enough to know what I want? Of course it is. I just don't want to scare you is all. What happened? Fine. I'll show you, but you didn't say any of this from me, all right? Okay? This was Abigail. She was hung up like you, Brittany. Except dead. This was Maggie. She was found three days after she went missing, stuffed in a locker. Dead. Another girl went missing, too, Dana. They... This was... Cat. Uh, My girlfriend and her friend, Val. They were stabbed, along with their coach, Miss Hall. Mm. The attack she can't remember. The next attacks were just more of the same. They I think attacked. we've seen enough. Are you sure? There's like four more. You want to be sick? Why would you show us these? Because you asked me to. Okay, what is the deal with you guys? You really think we want to identify ourselves as cheerleaders right now? Do you know how hard I had to push Principal Sawyer for these? They're top of the line. Not happening. Sorry, Coach. Okay, look, you only have to wear them on game days. And besides, nothing bad is going to happen as long as you stick together. How'd that work for you and your friends? 
How about we work on a new routine? This is so not worth it. Seriously? You too, Pippa? I think I'll try my hand at theater. Sorry, coach. You're not scared? A little, but I kind of want to see what happens next. Well, I release you. Can't cheer on your own. Whatever. <laughs> I thought it might help. I know I'm a little early. Um, I don't think I have you in the books for today. Really? Let's see. No. I swear I made an appointment last time I was here. It's not a big deal. Are you all right? Uh, yeah, no, I've just been feeling really scatterbrained recently. Like, misplacing things doing things I don't remember and not doing things I do remember and I lost my phone. You have post-traumatic stress syndrome. Your brain is under a great deal of stress and especially now with you being... Fortunately, I have another session, but I could see you... Wednesday, 3 p.m.? Is that the soonest that you have? I'm sorry. Have you been journaling? Uh, I've been meaning to try it and take care of yourself all right let's give this a try I feel silly Dear diary, I say this is pointless. Believe Forrest asked Kat to be his girlfriend. Seems like he's been with every girl on the team. Except me, obviously. Maybe I should get contact. I can't believe I had a crush on that creep. What makes you think someone broke in? 
I saw a shadow. I mean, someone was sneaking around the house. The door was wide open. Okay, the other night, someone broke into the house and moved stuff around in my room. This pom-pom and the photo, I put them in my dresser. And the next morning, they were out on my nightstand. Okay. Is anything missing? Yes, actually, my phone. It went missing the same night. That phone? Well, I... I think... I didn't see this there. How did... Is it possible you could have put it there and just forgot it? I don't think so. But I've been getting a little bit confused. The therapist says that it's, it's totally normal. It's just post-traumatic stress syndrome. So you're seeing a therapist? Yes. Get some rest, okay? Call us if you have any other problems. You might want to think about getting that door fixed. You're in big trouble, young lady. Sorry, teacher. Hey, uh, what do you say we make this official? What do you mean? Come on. You've been hitting on me for weeks. Let's meet up. Lookout point. Okay. Can't wait. Oh, and hey, keep this between us, okay? Well, done. <laughs> See ya. What's up? I heard about the cheer mutiny. You okay? Ah, it's fine. At least I don't have to pretend to like football anymore. Plus, my Friday nights just opened up. Well, I have big plans of Indian food and old movies if you want to join. <laughs> Do you want to go? There's a reunion at Broken Forest tonight. Guess that's another thing I wasn't invited to. Uh, come with me. I don't know. I'd feel like a crasher. I wasn't invited either. Just come with me, please. Don't make me go by myself. I'll drive. I'll pick you up. Fine. But only because you're begging and it's pathetic. <laughs> Text me your address. I'll get you at 7. Sounds good. Are those school records? Yeah. About the slangs. How did you even get those? The library. It's amazing what the words it's for a report will do. <laughs> you want to? <laughs> no. <laughs> no way. Are you trying to give me nightmares? <laughs> See you later. Wait, are you, are you going to the game tonight? Yeah. Just getting a ride with Chloe. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll see you there. Hey, I gotta go too, babe. Meet you at the game. We're not going together? I got some stuff I got to do. Like what?
everyone's gonna hit on you. <laughs> Maybe they'll hit on you. You know, and it's amazing how you can still feel so invisible around the popular kids, even though high school ended 10 years ago. <laughs> Ellie, you made it. Jonathan, hey. Um, uh, you remember Lisbeth, right? Yeah. Hey. Oh, uh, we, uh, actually, we, we dated for a little bit. <laughs> I wouldn't say we dated when I went once. Really? I didn't know. It was... A few times. Well, I mean, yeah, but we were like friends, right? <laughs> you look great, too. Thanks. <laughs> so, what are we drinking? Come on. <laughs> No one. Are you guys sure Pippa wasn't home? I told you, we rang the doorbell like three times. Okay. Here. We need it. No thanks. Hey, how's it going? Where have you been? I told you, I had a thing. What kind of thing? I don't know, just something I had to take care of. Well, have you seen Pippa? <laughs> Why would I have seen Pippa? You know what? I'll find her myself. What did I say? For directions. You look great, honey. Take a picture. It'll last longer. Brooke. Hi. Hi. How have you been? What happened that night, Ellie? What? What happened to my sister? You know, I don't remember. Why are you the only cheerleader that didn't die? Why do you get to live? Did you... Did you have something to do with it all? What? Of course not. Why was her blood all over you then, Ellie? Her, her blood was all over me. No, no one ever told me that. Look, Pippa, I've been trying... Thing. I knew I was in the locker, uh, tied up, just, just covered in pig's blood or something. 
It's just like before. Where are your parents? They're on their way. I'm a doctor. Can I take a look at her? Miss Oliver, I need to talk with you. Is this her? Okay. This one. This one. Is this pom pom yours? Looks just like the one we saw at your house the other day. Yeah, yeah, that's mine. But Why was it taped to Pippa's hands? Where were you this afternoon? I I was at school, and then I, I went home, and I took a nap, and then I, I picked up Miss Trudell and went to a party at First Parker's house. Can someone confirm what time you went home from school? No. My mom was at work. Where were you the night Brittany was attacked? That was late. I guess I was at home, sleeping. If I did it, why would I tie my own pom-pom to her hand? I don't know. Why would you? After the original attacks, we tested the blood on your uniform. Cat's blood was all over it. Oh, so, so, so now I'm the killer? I killed my friends? No, I can't. I can't. Wouldn't be the first time someone cut themselves trying to throw us off the track. This is crazy. I would never cut myself, and I would never hurt anybody. All right. Then I'm sure you wouldn't mind cooperating by handing over your phone so we could analyze your location data. I don't have it. I, I, I lost it again. I... How convenient. Do I need a lawyer? Another cheerleader was attacked over the weekend, and the sheriff announced he is narrowing in on a suspect. Is it the original having some dangerous fun at the town's expense? Only time will tell. I remember when our senior pranks involved TPing Sawyer's car. I guess times have changed. Uh, by the way, I found this in the parking lot. It's yours, right? I mean, you're in the background photo, so I figured... It was in the parking lot? Yeah. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, more than ever. I, I have to know what happened. Is the uniform in there? Sit back. Relax. Remember what it was like to be in that uniform, to be a cheerleader. Remember the smells from the concession stand at the football game, the sounds of the crowd. It might help to lie down. Now, tell me again. What happened that night? How can you be drinking right now? A teenager's dead. That's why I'm drinking, Ellie. Sorry I don't have your A-plus coping skills. <laughs> Just hurry, it's dark. I shouldn't be here. Come on, Val. We're going to Forest. I'll drive. You can't drive. You're wasted. Let me take you home. No, leave me alone. No. Pat, come on. No. Give me your key. No. Give me your key. Oh. with Cat. It sounds like you are trying to protect Cat. Why can't I remember what happened? Why? You have survivor's guilt. It's a common symptom of post-traumatic stress disorder. Yeah, okay. Can we just, can we try again? I think that's enough for today. I don't want to push you too hard. Let's try again next week. No, I, I can't wait another week. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ellie. We can't risk it. Hey, Chloe. We'll talk about it later. Okay. Yes, Mr. Parker? Where were you last night? Ocean calendar. Chloe, your grade in my class has been suffering. So I need to know, are we going to do this or not? Yeah, yeah, 
We were gonna do this. I told you, I just forgot. Okay. Tonight, my house. Brooks out of town. I'll text you the address. Tonight? Is that a problem? No, no. Can't wait. Okay. See ya. was it? In the laundry room. Under some dirty clothes. You're kidding. Yeah. How did it get there? Maybe you just left it in your jeans pocket. I don't have to go to this conference. No, Mom, it's okay. <laughs> Look, with everything going on, I just... Mom, it's your job. Okay, just go. I'll be fine, really. I love you, Mom. Love you, too. Goodbye. Hey, what's going on? You're not gonna believe this. Come on. It's terrible. I can't believe Chloe's missing. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna find her, okay? We are okay. And and she'll be too. You guys weren't gone this long. Ow! Moron. Guys, think about it. It's just like the slings. The third girl went missing and was never found, remember? Who would do something like this? I might have an idea. Today, for the disappearance of Chloe Carter. Police are unsure if this is tied to the recent attacks on cheerleaders or if it's an unrelated incident. The search for the missing girl continues. It wasn't me. I didn't do anything. I'm innocent. I swear. I'm their teacher! Hey. You okay? What do you mean? You know I don't think you had anything to do with all of this, right? I mean, they can't even prove that it was your pom-pom. What you know about that? Everybody knows about that. But I'm sure Forrest is their guy, right? I, I mean, hey. Your friendship means a lot to me. <laughs> your friendship means a lot to me, too. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. What's up? I know it's stupid, but the whole Jonathan thing, I, I had no idea you two dated. Oh, uh, that. No, it's... it's fine. Really, uh, I'm used to getting friend-zoned. <laughs> really? Because I don't have to keep seeing him. I can call it off. You'd do that for me? If that's what you wanted, yeah. Friends come first. Always. That would be crazy of me, Ellie. Really? Of course. I just want you to be happy. Mm. Yeah. 
I never thought I would be friends with a cheerleader. <laughs> and, you know, I tried out for the squad freshman year. I was a good dancer, but I guess I didn't have the right look. I practically got laughed out of the building. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. That's so mean. Yeah. I held a pretty big grudge for a while until I met you. Oh. So thank you. See you later? Yeah. Forrest Parker was released earlier due to insufficient evidence, though it is confirmed that he had an illicit relationship with the student in question, police could find nothing explicitly tying him to her disappearance or the earlier cheerleader attacks. He remains a person of interest. I told you I was innocent. Great. We're just releasing criminals into the streets now. We're still no closer to finding Chloe. This means the police are going to be back on your case. Aren't you worried? I have nothing to hide. In fact, I just gave the sheriff my phone so he could analyze it. Are you sure that's such a good idea? It's on finding the killer, who I think also took Chloe. But I need your help. Anything. You were the school photographer, right? Yeah. Okay, so do you still have any old photos, yearbooks, anything from our high school days? More wine? Uh, I'm okay. Thanks. Thanks again for bringing these. I got rid of pretty much everything I own that reminds me of high school. Of course. I mean, hopefully something in here triggers your memory. Yeah, Chloe's life may depend on it. Huh. You, uh... You took a lot of me. Like I said, I had a crush. Is that a journal? Uh, yeah, my therapist makes me do it. I kind of hate it. I love journaling. I think everyone should journal. You do not journal. I do, too. Wh what do you journal about? I don't know. Um, work stress, my family. Definitely not you. Oh, no. No, not one sentence. I'm sorry. I don't journal about you either. Good. I kiss you, but I know you have serious business to attend to. <laughs> I have to work anyways. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm covering for someone tonight. Yeah. Call me if you need anything, okay? And I'll keep digging around my place, see if I can find more photos for you. Thank you, Jonathan, I really appreciate it. And hey, I, I know you're worried about Chloe, but you need to look, bye. You're just jealous. 
we're going to Forest House. Admit it, Ellie. You hate me. He doesn't want you. Shut up! Shut up! <sighs> Everyone knows you're in love with him, Ellie. Everyone knows he never did a loser like you. I hate you. Why, Ellie? Why? Can you hear me? Ma'am, we have your location. We're sending you this now. Dr. Colton? No. Is Dr. Colton in? Have you seen him? Uh, no, I'm sorry. Okay. Um... Elliot? What are you doing here? I need to talk to you. It's an emergency. Okay, my next session's about to start, and frankly, I'm surprised to see you here. What do you mean? The email you sent me last night. You told me you wouldn't be coming to therapy anymore. Wait, no, I... I sent you an email last night? You don't remember? Elliot.oliver at gigamail.com, right? Yeah, uh, th that's my email, but... I, I really don't remember sending that. Um, it's possible you did it in your sleep. Have you been doing anything else weird in your sleep? You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> Jonathan, thank God. Yeah, my office said you were looking for me. Yeah, uh, can, can you meet me at my house, please? There's, there's writing everywhere, and I, I don't know what to do. Okay, I was just about to head home. I'll, I'll come right over. Okay. Happened last night. What's going on? No, you need to see it. There's writing everywhere, and and the picture just come. See? Okay. Oh my God. Did you do this, Ellie? What is that? This is Chloe's headband. Why do you have Chloe's headband? Okay, it wasn't me. Okay, it wasn't. We have to go to the police. What if you're having some kind of breakdown? You're, you're doing this in your sleep. What? No. It could be you, Ellie. No, I would never. And, and then I can't name a single woman who would want to murder a bunch of... Oh, my God. What? I know who it was. Who? Just, just wait here. I'll explain everything. Where are you going? To prove it wasn't me. Ellie, where have you been? You missed a whole day of classes. It was an emergency. I'm sorry. Is everything okay? Elizabeth...
There's a chance she's being framed, right? That she didn't do this? Doesn't look good. What's this? Some kind of diary. Talk to me. Got it. Copy that. Girl. Get an APB out on Elliot Oliver. Stat. Wait, but you're arresting her? You don't even know that she did this. Sorry, Jonathan. We're gonna need you to go home now. Miss Oliver, are you okay? You've reached Dr. Colton. Leave a message. Jonathan, it's Lisbeth. The killer is Lisbeth. I have evidence. I'm coming over. The cheerleader Slate is now wanted in connection with the disappearance of Mosher High School student Chloe Carter, who went missing two nights ago. Oh. Miss Oliver is believed to be on the run from authorities. Oliver. Jonathan! Meet me at 11 Dory Lane. I think Chloe's here. Jonathan! Jonathan! The, the killer is Lisbeth! I have proof! You've got to see this! The police are looking for you. It was you. What are you talking about? You're the killer. You finally remembered. It took you long enough. Seems I was way more worried about that than I needed to be. You have a terrible memory. The one seeing a therapist, Emma. <laughs> Sorry, babe. Look, it's okay, though. I brought reinforcements. Yeah? Okay. So what's your plan here, exactly? <laughs> Take down Miss Oliver ourselves? If we have to. Do you really think she did it? I don't know. But we have to try to find Chloe, so... Yeah. Let's go. It took you forever to get here. I drove the speed limit, babe. Shut up. Why did you do it? 
Why did you kill them all? Why? Maybe I should ask you why. Why is it that bitches like you, you prance around in your slutty little uniforms, <laughs> waiting for someone to ask you out, and then when they finally do, you laugh at them? <laughs> Unless they're a Chad, like Forrest. Are you talking about me? You never even asked me out. Yes, I did. Several times. And you laughed at me. No, it's not true. You thought it was a joke. All of you cheerleaders did. Hilarious Jonathan. With his funny jokes. I'm sorry if I offended you. Offended me? Friends. No, we thought we were laughing with you, okay? We loved you. We, we thought you were a great guy. Oh, please. I never stood a chance. You friends owned me from the start. Oh, like you friends owned Elizabeth? You women are all the same. You only want like Forrest. Not the nice guys like me. <laughs> right. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> Here. No, there is. I saw her come around this way. <gasps> Seriously? What the hell are you doing? I'm going inside. You guys can do what you want to do. I really hope we don't get arrested. Or worse. Why didn't you just... Because I realized something. Torturing you was way more fun than killing anyone. Your fear over the return of the killer convincing you that you might be the murderer. And now the police are on their way to come and arrest you. Oh, it is oh so satisfying. It was you. All of it, the, the pom-pom, the writing on the wall, the diary. You should never leave your drink unattended, Ellie. Every girl knows that. Huh. The police have your confession, multiple pieces of evidence. And now that they have your phone, they see that you were at the scene of all the recent attacks. But I wasn't. But your phone was. Of course. <laughs> You've been stealing my phone, too. You should really lock your doors at night, Ellie. There's... There's a murderer on the loose. Did Miss Oliver do this to you? No. It was the guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. The guy upstairs. He told me that if I misbehave, I'd end up in the closet. With the other one. The other one? Come on. What? Get up.
I'm gonna get away with this. Okay, I I'll tell them that it was you. You think they'll believe you? <sighs> A documented history of mental illness. Even your therapist can confirm that you've been acting strangely. Writing emails in your sleep? Your laptop was wide open. I, I just couldn't help myself. So you framed me. You drugged me. And you planted Chloe's headband in my room. You just made it so easy. I just have one question for you. What's that? I didn't reject you this time. You had me. So if you wanted me this badly all this time, then why are you still doing this to me? You know, I thought I wanted you. With this? I hate you. You and all the girls just like you. I can't think of anything better than seeing you rot in prison for a bunch of murders that you didn't commit. It's brilliant. I frame you for everything. And then I never get caught. <laughs> You're right. It is brilliant. Thank you. There's just one small problem with your plan. What's that? You... long story you don't even want to know Ava for once I am incredibly glad that you are nosy as hell in other news serial killer Jonathan Colton was sentenced today to life in prison without parole in a fitting end to Mosher's town tragedy it was the cheerleaders themselves who took down the once esteemed doctor who now spend the rest of his life behind bars said one relief hi honey it's currently 82 degrees with come on up What's all this, then? Well, have a seat. I, um, I have some exciting news. What? The doctor called. I'm in remission. <laughs> oh, Mom. I know. <laughs> oh, this is just the best news ever. I know. Uh, well, we have to toast. Okay. To kicking cancer's butt. Screw cancer. <laughs> Oh. I hope this means you're not going to be leaving us again. Uh, I just toast to the cheer tournament. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Our last practice before our first competition. You guys ready to kill it out there? Yeah! Coach Trudell, would you cue the music? You got it, Coach Oliver. Closer. High school. 